Hi, I'm Daniel, the co-founder of Exodus. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your blockchain assets inside of Exodus, along with a few tips and tricks on getting started using Exodus. Let's take a look. When you download Exodus on the Mac, you'll have a disk image that'll open up. Simply drag Exodus into the applications folder to install it. If you are an early adopter of Exodus and you have an old beta version, you can simply erase or um, overwrite your old version of Exodus with this new version, the Mac will ask you, would you like to overwrite it? Simply say yes. On Windows, this is the same process, except there's an installer that takes take care of this for you. So you'll install Exodus over your old copy. This will not um, get rid of any of your old blockchain assets. They're stored in a separate location on your computer. So this is safe to do and it will get started with the latest version of Exodus. Once that's done, uh, you can open your applications folder or um, on Windows, there'll be a shortcut that's created. I already have uh, Exodus open here. And taking a look at Exodus in the portfolio view, which is where it'll open, uh, there will be no blockchain assets inside. You can click on the left-hand sidebar to navigate between the different sections. Um, in the settings section here, there's different themes you can click through. Um, just take your pick on your favorite one. Uh, this masternode theme is a new, new theme. Uh, as well as the Aurora theme is a new theme as well. We'll stick with this one for the demo, but feel free to choose the one that you like. Um, first step in Exodus is uh, we were talking about we wanted to actually back up. Now, before you back up, you have to deposit just a small amount in Exodus. In this demo, um, we're going to deposit a small amount. I encourage you to start small. So instead of uh, depositing a large amount neck of Exodus, just pick a little bit and then start to grow your comfort level from there. So we'll click on wallet and uh, I'm gonna deposit some Dash today. So click on the receive button. Now I actually have a Dash here on my mobile device. So I'm going to uh, open this up and I'm going to click on send here. I'm gonna scan We go scan the QR code inside Exodus. I'm going to type um, how, how many dash I would like to send over. So we'll send two dash and click send. Confirm. Okay. So two dash has just been sent. Um, you just heard the sound in Exodus. That's the cha-ching sound. And uh, that's what happens when a deposit comes in. So we have two dash now inside Exodus. If we go back to the portfolio view, you can see I actually hold 100% of my portfolio here in dash. As I deposit Bitcoin, Dogecoin, uh, Ethereum, or Litecoin, the uh, portfolio view will actually start to kind of fragment out and you'll be able to see your entire assets in terms of how much of a percentage each one you hold. So in this example, I've just put some dash in here so we could um, go to the backup tab. So looking at my dash, there's two dash in my wallet. Um, and then I can click the backup tab. Now the backup tab um, only displays once you have a little bit of money inside Exodus. You can actually uh, put in a dollar, you can put in one cent, uh, you can put in anything, but you need to put in something to, ha to have this process started. So in this example, we just put in a little bit of dash and uh, let's go ahead and walk through this backup process. The first step here is to create your password. Uh, you cannot create a weak password. A weak password is simply like a uh, fish is a weak password. Uh, Bob is a weak password. These will not work. Uh, hello is a weak password. This will not work either. You need to create a super secret password that you like yourself. I'm going to use one that's really silly. Uh, do not use this one, obviously, but I'm going to type Bob the fish. That is my super secret, very strong password. Um, and once I'm done, I click next. Now I have to remember this password. It's key that you remember this password. Um, this password is the key to your blockchain assets. So don't share this with anyone. Um, you have to keep this just in a very safe place. If you can memorize it, great. Um, we encourage you, if you need to write it down, uh, put it in a safety deposit box or some place that's extremely safe with only access to people that you trust and know. Um, this way you will secure your blockchain assets for a long generation um, and you won't have to worry about losing the blockchain assets. So let's come back here to step two. Um, I will type in Bob the fish. And if I typed in Bob the cow, 
this will not work because the password obviously is not the same. So this just ensures that you remember your password, um, Bob the fish. Okay, password's matched. Uh, if you forgot it, you can obviously click back to go back to your old one. But at this point, if you've already forgotten your password, well, we got to work on remembering these passwords. So this is key. You cannot get these passwords back um, and, and they, they will not, um, you can't restore them from an email uh, link. You have to remember these. This is designed so that people can't steal your blockchain assets. So there is no way anyone will ever be able to get this password back from you. So it is up to you. So please, please, please remember this password. It's very important. Okay, step three, the recovery phrase. Um, this step is what we call in Exodus the backup of the backup. So um, if your email recovery link that we send you, the one click way to restore your Exodus assets is gone, or if you lose access to your email um, or, or something just happens in that process, this uh, recovery phrase will save you and you will be able to restore your backup uh, from this recovery phrase. Now, this recovery phrase I'm showing you in this video, please don't show this to anyone. Um, do this in the privacy of your own office or your own home. Um, this recovery phrase, if you show this to somebody else, they can put these words together and actually take your funds, your blockchain assets in total. So again, this is, this is um, very special information and you need to keep this um, private. And when you print this out or write this down, this is another thing you need to keep in a safety deposit box, uh, a bank vault, or someplace special. So we encourage you to hit print here. And if you're at home, um, make two copies of this. Uh, you're, if you're at the office, wherever, make two copies. If you can't print this out, um, you can write it down. But we encourage two copies because if only one copy is there, if there's a fire, loss, or flood damage, um, something bad could happen to the backup and it's nice to have another one in a separate location. So maybe one in a bank vault, maybe one at your house. Uh, th this way, if something catastrophic were to happen, you'd still have access to your blockchain assets. Remember, you may be storing $20 or $50 for a test today, even a dollar to get this up and running, but these blockchain assets will grow in value over time. And as you use Exodus more and store more wealth inside of this, this will become important. So. Although this is just something you're doing today as a very simple step, please keep in mind that these blockchain assets could be worth a lot later on down the road. So take the time and do this very carefully. After you've print this, printed this out, uh, you can go ahead and click next. This is the last step in the backup process. Uh, you simply enter your email address here and we're gonna send you a backup link um, to restore these blockchain assets. Now this backup link is a one-click um, way to restore your blockchain assets on another computer. If your computer were to fall in the lake, uh, you know, go up in flames, someone were to take it or were to um, disappear somehow, this could save you. Um, th this process uh, is pretty simple. The only key is just don't uh, erase this email when it arrives in your email inbox. Simply archive it or put it in a special folder and uh, you'll be fine. Now, this email link, you um, will go ahead and send one to myself so you guys can see this. Exodus.io, um, you click finish here. This will take, usually takes about five to 10 seconds to finish this up. Um, and then it will present me with a window saying that my backup has been complete. So there it is, my backup's complete. Now, if I open my email, um, and I have an example down here to show you. This is an example of uh, what that backup link comes in and looks like. It says, congratulations, uh, your assets have now been password protected and backed up. Um, this is the, the email that you will archive. And remember, this backup link by itself is not necessarily, um, you won't lose your assets. Unlike the recovery phrase, whereas if someone gets your recovery phrase and they have those 12 words, they will be able to take all your blockchain assets. If they get this backup link, they will not be able to take your blockchain assets unless they have the backup link and they have the password. And those two tied together is what um, is needed to recover those blockchain assets. So to summarize again, keep those 12 words that you have, keep those very safe. Uh, th those are the key to your wealth um, in a sense of if this email is lost, stolen, or you don't have access to your email somehow, you will need those 12 words. Um, at the first step in recovering your backup though is to go to your email 
you'll click on, uh, you'll install Exodus, you'll then click on this, this backup link and Exodus will ask you for your password and your um, assets will be restored. So that's a little bit overview of how the backup process works. Um, you can click this button here to show your 12 word phrase again. Um, so there's my 12 word phrase. If anybody um, wants to take this money out of this Exodus wallet, I'm actually gonna send this out before I post this video here. Um, so I'm going to click send and I'm going to send this out back to my phone. Um, again, thank you for using Exodus. If you guys have any questions, um, any, any problems with this process, um, go ahead and um, click the help section inside Exodus. JP and my, my pictures are in here. Feel free to reach out to us um, via email, phone. Um, we have a Slack channel as well where you can get on there and just kind of live talk to us back and forth as well. But as you work through this process, we realize that this may be new for a lot of people and that's okay. So just ask questions, um, walk through the process and uh, thank you for using Exodus and we hope you enjoy the new world of blockchain assets. We'll talk to you soon.